In 2025, Oppo, one of the world's leading smartphone manufacturers, is preparing to make a bold and potentially industry-shifting move. The company is set to abandon the Android operating system in favor of Harmony OS, a proprietary platform developed by Huawei. This decision represents one of the most significant strategic pivots in the mobile tech industry and could reshape the global smartphone market in ways we haven't seen in years. For years, Oppo has built its reputation on Android-powered smartphones, producing high-performance devices such as the Find X8 Ultra and the Reno 1 3 Pro. Shifting away from the familiar and globally dominant Android ecosystem is no small feat. It's a major departure, and one that could have far-reaching consequences for users, developers, and competitors alike. The question, of course, is why Oppo would make such a radical change. The answer lies in a combination of domestic strategy, long-term innovation goals, and the rising prominence of Harmony OS itself. Harmony OS was first introduced by Huawei in 2019 as a direct response to U.S. sanctions that effectively severed the company's ties to Google and the Android ecosystem. At its inception, Harmony OS was designed to replace Android on Huawei devices. However, it quickly grew into something much more versatile. Over time, Harmony OS evolved into a multi-platform operating system capable of running on a wide range of smart devices, including tablets, smartwatches, IoT gadgets, and even cars. Its most recent version, Harmony OS 5, debuted in March 2025 with the release of Huawei's flagship Pro X smartphone. This device became the first to showcase the full potential of Harmony OS 5, offering not just powerful specs but also a seamless, unified user experience. By that point, Harmony OS had reached a significant milestone. Over 10,000 apps had been developed or optimized for the platform, and it had garnered substantial support from developers and institutions alike. For example, the Shanghai Municipal Government had entered into strategic partnerships to support Harmony OS deployment across its smart infrastructure initiatives. The ecosystem approach behind Harmony OS is one of its standout features. Unlike Android, which is open source and has become fragmented across brands and regions, Harmony OS was engineered to be cohesive and fully independent. It aims to unify various smart devices under one system, delivering a consistent experience and better integration. The competitive landscape in China provides further context for Oppo's move. China's smartphone market is among the most aggressive and innovative in the world, dominated by domestic brands such as Huawei, Xiaomi, and Vivo. While Android remains the most widely used operating system globally, its influence in China is limited by the absence of Google services. As a result, Chinese Android devices often run heavily customized skins like Oppo's Color OS, which already diverge significantly from stock Android. In this environment, Harmony OS presents a more aligned and potentially future-proof alternative. Oppo's switch can be seen as a strategic alignment with the country's push for technological independence and a step toward deeper integration into a Chinese. Huawei's investment in Harmony OS has already paid off in the domestic market. Despite facing international scrutiny and restrictions, the company has managed to grow a loyal user base at home thanks in part to its early bet on software independence. Oppo's decision to adopt Harmony OS signals a desire to better compete within this increasingly self-reliant tech ecosystem. And with the launch of Harmony OS Next in 2024, which completely eliminates Android's open source base, Oppo now has the opportunity to fully embrace an original and cohesive platform not tied to Google in any way. But Oppo's ambitions extend far beyond China. The company is also positioning itself to challenge the global duopoly of Android and iOS. As of April 2025, the Find X8 Ultra Street Ill runs Color OS 15 based on Android 15. But internal reports suggest that Harmony OS is being tested on select Oppo devices. The company is expected to begin international rollout of Harmony OS based phones by the end of 2025. Europe, in particular, has been a growing market for Oppo, thanks to its AI-enhanced Reno 13 series. This market could serve as a testbed for Oppo's international Harmony OS strategy. For consumers, the transition to Harmony OS could offer significant benefits.
the most immediate is the promise of a smoother, more integrated experience across devices. Harmony OS is designed for seamless interconnectivity between smartphones, smartwatches, TVs, tablets, and even cars. For example, an Oppo user might check a message on their smartphone and respond from a Huawei smartwatch with virtually no lag or disruption. This kind of user experience stands in contrast to Android's often inconsistent multi-device ecosystem. On the hardware front, Oppo brings serious engineering talent to the table. With innovations like the ultra-thin 5,600 mAh battery used in its Fine series and high-performance chipsets such as the Snapdragon 8 Elite, Oppo is well-positioned to make the most of Harmony OS's efficient microkernel architecture. This combination could lead to better battery life, smoother performance, and faster processing speeds qualities that will appeal to power users and tech enthusiasts alike. Privacy and security are also front and center in this new direction. With rising concerns over data collection and online privacy, Harmony OS presents itself as a secure alternative, emphasizing on-device processing and encrypted cloud storage. This could help alleviate some of the anxieties users have regarding Google's data practices, making Oppo's Harmony OS devices an attractive option for privacy-conscious consumers. Still, the transition won't be easy. One of the biggest hurdles is app availability. Android's ecosystem is vast, with millions of apps on the Google Play Store. Harmony OS, while growing, still trails in the number and diversity of available applications. Oppo will need to work closely with developers to bring essential apps to the platform or ensure they're optimized for the new OS. This won't happen overnight and could delay widespread. Another challenge is the deep entrenchment of Google services in many consumers' lives. People across the globe rely heavily on apps like Gmail, Google Maps, and YouTube. Moving to Harmony OS will likely mean adopting alternatives, which could create a learning curve for users and slow initial enthusiasm. However, Oppo's newly announced partnership with Google Cloud revealed during Google Cloud Next 2025 may help bridge this gap. While details are scarce, this partnership could allow some integration of Google services into Harmony OS in international markets, making the transition easier for users outside China. Then there's the geopolitical angle. Because Harmony OS is developed by Huawei, which remains under scrutiny from Western governments, there may be resistance in some markets. Both consumers and regulators might hesitate to embrace an OS perceived as linked to Chinese state interests. Oppo will need to invest heavily in branding and education to separate its identity from Huawei's, even while leveraging Harmony OS's strengths. Despite these challenges, Oppo's move is already creating ripples across the tech landscape. For competitors like Samsung, which continues to rely on Android for its Galaxy lineup, Oppo's move could be a wake-up call. In 2025, Oppo's flagship outshone the Galaxy Z. Fold 6 in hardware and design. And if Oppo succeeds in delivering a refined software experience with Harmony OS, it could further tip the scales. While Apple's iOS remains a dominant and highly polished ecosystem, Oppo's more open approach combined with cutting-edge design and performance, may draw users seeking alternatives to the Apple experience. Looking ahead, Oppo has set ambitious goals. By the end of 2025, the company hopes to reach 100 million active users on its AI platform. Harmony OS's built-in AI features, such as intelligent search powered by Google Cloud, could accelerate this effort. The fusion of AI-driven services and Harmony OS's efficient system architecture could redefine what users expect from a mobile operating system. Moreover, Oppo is likely to expand its reach beyond smartphones, much like Huawei has. Tablets, PCs, and wearables are all on the roadmap, with products like the rumored Oppo Pad 4 Pro and Harmony OS-powered laptops signaling the company's intent to build a fully integrated tech ecosystem. If successful, Oppo could become one of the few companies capable of delivering a unified experience across all digital touchpoints, rivaling Apple's. In the end, Oppo's transition to Harmony OS represents more than just a change in software, it's a bold bet on a new future. 
It's a strategic effort to stand out in an increasingly saturated market while riding the momentum of China's tech self-reliance movement. Although there are real obstacles ahead, from app compatibility to international trust, Oppo's strong hardware foundation and growing software ambitions position it as a serious contender in the race to shape the next era of mobile technology. Whether Oppo can position Harmony OS as a true alternative to Android and iOS remains to be seen. But one thing is certain. The entire tech world is watching closely as OPO embarks on this ambitious journey to redefine what the future of smartphones